activist Bruce Martin has died. For years, he was director of the Connecticut American Friends Service Committee. In his later years, he was active in the Connecticut Committee to Defend Cuba. He was also interested in abolishing the death penalty, and for a while he headed the coalition to abolish the death penalty. It was in that capacity I interviewed him some 15 years ago. In this short segment, we talk about alternatives to the death penalty. Life imprisonment without release is a very severe sentence, and it, it isn't given lightly, nor is the death penalty. Do we have life in prison uh, without release in Connecticut? Uh, no. Well, it, it could happen in, in certain cases. Uh, and there's one in particular, Richard LaPointe, who was just sentenced uh, late uh, middle of 1993. He was charged and tried uh, for a capital crime with the possibility of death. And the jury found that uh, he should be incarcerated with for life without possibility of release because there was a mitigating circumstance that they found during the sentencing phase of the trial. And that's rare, however, to have somebody locked up and throw away the key, so to speak. The, the advantage of that, I think, when death sentence is, is likely or possible, is that if a person is shown to be innocent, later on, if you have another person confess or new evidence comes into play, if a person is incarcerated without the possibility of release, at least they're not dead. They could be released, and uh, if execution has happened, of course, which has happened. I mean, there, there have been many executions in this country. The U.S. is uh, one of the few Western so-called industrialized nations that still retain the death penalty, and uh, there are precious few still that do it, and we're advocating that we join the many more nations on the face of the earth that that feel differently about how people should be punished for uh, for killing other human beings. Bruce Martin Presente. On our website, shocking news about the extent of foreign aid to Israel. Twice what we thought. Also a call by Congressman Bill Baird for the U.S. to break the siege of Gaza. Check out thestruggle.org. That's our program for today. See you next week at this time. I'm Stanley Heller, and this is The Struggle. You tell me all peoples need land of their own. All the others have theirs. Why not leave us alone? We bought it. We brought it to bloom in the sun. Always was. We won't let them take back our homes and our trees. We won't have them driving us into the seas. That's why we are forcing them down on their knees. But the children are dying in Palestine.
time.